Hey yo, what's up people of YouTube? Beamer fam, all around, car enthusiasts, you know. Welcome, welcome to my channel. So basically today, I'm gonna be basically uh, spraying my wheels, man. Check it out. So as you can see, I have the NK wheels right here. NK models with tension. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty, uh, this wheel was pretty damaged already, so I had to scuff out most of that paint, but I don't feel like I should repowder coat them or anything. So I'm just gonna spray them into a color. I'll reveal that at the end. But right now, as you can see, I'm masking everything off. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to mask things off, right? So I don't need to show you that. So I'm gonna show y'all a little trick when I learned. God, I think it was a dipyourcar.com or something. His channel. He showed us how to mask the inside without taking the wheel off. So basically, take the trash bag, put it in here. Just trail that all the way around. Pretty much fully covered. And if you do projects like this, you get all the stuff from the Dollar Tree, man. It's just gonna be waste if you spend money on masking stuff. I got trash bags, like a 10 pack for a dollar masking tape you know pretty much work within your budget right so that's how i'm gonna go about it all right so i gotta mask these wheels off right here i'll be right back guys all right as you can see got everything masked up right here i'm not worried about the lug nuts it's gonna be silver with the wheels anyway so or i can just replace them yep mask the majority of it but don't worry, if I get any overspray, I'll just uh, clay bar my car. It's not a big problem. All right, let's get this going. All right, and then the color I'm doing it today, it's gonna be Rust-Oleum Metallic. I wanted that uh, basically almost like a chrome finish, but basically as silver as possible. So I'm gonna use one can for each wheel and then uh, see how it turns out. But let me put you guys on a time lapse and I'll get back to you. All right, that was just one layer, thin, light layer. I'm gonna wait about five minutes or so and I'll apply the second coat. All right, guys, it's gonna be coat number two. Probably lay it on a little bit thicker. So hopefully it'll cover some scratches on there, but let's go. All right, guys, as you can see, I pretty much got four, five layers. And these these are my worst ones. They're all like scratched up, scuffed. And I should have prepped it a little bit more, but it is what it is. I guess I can always redo them because I mean, they're just rattle cans anyways. Not too worried about that. But yeah, I'm gonna work on this side now. Got that masked off pretty good. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, I am pretty impressed with the shine that it gives it. Like the more layer you put on it, the shinier it gets, which is pretty crazy, man. Rustoleum metallic. You don't get it, do you? Oh! 
should have waited a little bit longer. No. Let us sand that part down. It's always satisfying when you take the you take the masking papers off. I don't know why. Something about it, guys. It's like you know, you gotta appreciate your own work. Cause uh no one else ain't gonna appreciate it. Satisfying part. Now this paint, it actually don't take that long to dry or at least get uh, tacky after you spray. Obviously it takes about, like I said, I was waiting five minutes in between coats and that was more than enough time to actually add layers to it. Let's see, look at that. This is like my Goodwill. No scratch or anything on it, and then whew, it turned out pretty good. All right, guys, this is the before. It has that, you know, graphite or anthracite gray. Let's check out the other side. You ready for this? Ooh, look at that. Dang guys, I think that looks nice. Really brings out the wheel and the car a lot more, a lot better. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. I don't know, I love it. Hate it, like it, let me know. <laughs> Till next time guys, thanks, appreciate it.